Hi. Yes. Yeah, so Five For Me came from my album called Panorama. And if you heard the album Panorama, it's, um, it was me in a really dark season of my life. And I learned within that season that was dark throughout it, God is still fighting for you. And I know it's such a, a clean message straight through, but it really was that feeling where I was like, why does everybody leave? Why do I feel at the bottom of bottoms? Um, and sometimes as humans, we really do feel these emotions where it's like, God, where are you? But then it's like, oh, I need that reminder. And I wanted to give people that anthem where it's like, hey, God is fighting for you in this season. Thank you. Yeah. My man. Yeah, for a Christian that is at the end peak, I would say, I understand. This world is tough. When Jesus called us to follow him, he didn't say it was gonna be easy. He was telling his disciples, hey, leave, leave your fishing life, leave your family, come follow me. And I, I wanna give that message. I wanna tell people, hey, it's not Disneyland when you follow Christ. You know what I'm saying? But God did take all that weight for us and he took it on the cross. And I want people to know that, hey, you're not alone and God is taking that cross for you. Yeah. Yes. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very big on culture. So I'm very new to all of this. Growing up, uh, CCM was like all white people and then gospel was all black people. And I was like, I don't understand it. And as I kept on growing as an artist, and especially today here at the Double Awards, uh, I feel very welcomed. And I'm a Latino and I'm just very thankful to be speaking for Latinos here. Uh, I see a lot of limits being pushed right now at the Double Awards with all these familiar faces and a lot of new faces. So when you go to a Gavi show, you're gonna see a lot of culture, a new generation of people going crazy for Jesus, and yeah, a lot of good partying. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you for saying that. So I started off as a music producer. Uh, at age 16, 17, Lecrae picked me up. I was a young kid, uh, running after my dream as a producer. And I've been producing for the whole 116 Click, Tadashi, Andy Minio, Lecrae, KB, all the guys. And as I started growing older, uh, Ben Washer from Reach Records, he was like, hey, I think you could be an artist as well. And I became an artist, and I'm still producing for a lot of the guys. I'm producing for a lot of new people, too. But I'm really focused on my artistry right now. And I got a new album coming out next year, beginning of the year, so look out for that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate that, and I receive it. Oh yeah, so people ask me all the time, what is it like to go from producer to artistry? And musically it was very easy, but seeing the weight of what it took when I got on the platform and seeing fans go, hey, that song changed my life or it got me through this situation. Um, it was very hard going through that because I didn't understand the way it took being an artist on a platform, how people really actually connect with music. And I became a fan again. I was like, wow, music really does speak volumes, not just in the studio, but it speaks to the world. And uh, yeah, that's one of the biggest takes, takeaways that I got. One more question. Are we good? One oh. more. What's your favorite song to perform live right now? Right now, it's a song called Slingshot. Yeah, it's about me just feeling like David killing Goliath. Yeah, thank you guys so much. God bless y'all.